welcome back to story time with me hi i am to the series of dasha avatara before i start the story i want to tell you one thing and the story i told kurma avatara was from the book kurma written by sundari venkatraman you know she herself has commented on my video i am very blessed thank you ma'am and now coming back to the story Last time I told Varaha Avatara. Today we will be Nalasimha Avatara, Vishnu's fourth incarnation. So are you all ready to come to the time of Nalasimha? Are you? Come on, let's go. After Hiranyaksha's death, Hiranyakashipu, his younger brother, and Diti was filled with grief. Diti was inconsolable. Hiranyakashipu roared, "Mother!" I will avenge the death of my brother and from today onwards Vishnu will be our enemy. I will go for such a tapas that Brahma will have to come and give me a boon which I want. And he left for tapas. He didn't even pause for taking water, drinking water, eating food and ants had built ant hills on him. Even snakes had gone to live in the ant hills. The heat of his penance Tapas was reaching all the lokas. Finally, Brahma had to come. Hiranyakashipu asked for five boons. That one, he should not be killed by any human, asura, deva, or animal. Second, he should not be killed inside or outside. Third, he should not be killed on air, land, water. Fourth. He should not be killed in the day, day or night. Fifth one was he should not be killed by any weapon. Brahma again without thinking again he uh, granted the boon and went. While Hiranyakashipu was doing his tapas penance, uh, his wife Kayadhu was expecting a baby. That time, the Indra thought that. Ah, this is the right time to go and destroy all the asuras because they will be powerless without their Hiranyakashipu leader. They went and destroyed everything. Indra's eyes fell on Kayadhu. He was planning to kill the unborn baby. By that time, Narada came and stopped him. He took Kayadhu to his ashram, Hermitage. And he prayed for Vishnu. He sang songs about Vishnu. And the baby who was inside her, it started listening to everything. Hiranyakashipu came to Narada's ashram and he was happy to see Kayadhu and his baby Prahalad. Hiranyakashipu thought that he was immortal, invincible after doing his tapas. He, uh, he dethroned the devas also. And Hiranyakashipu used them as slaves. And he became the king god of all the three lokas, Devaloka, Bhuloka and Pataloka. It can also be called as Netherland. He told everyone that, start chanting my name as Om Hiranyakashipu Venamaha daily. And he was policing people that, are you doing? He is not doing, seize him. He was punishing people for not even chanting his name. While well, here, our dear beloved Prahalada was growing like a flower. And when his father came to see him, he was shocked to hear his son telling his enemy's name, Vishnu's name. He was chanting, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. He got very angry at Prahalada, but he didn't show it. He told, with love, with all love, he told his um, his son then, Prahalad, I am the god of all the three lokas. Why don't you chant my name? Don't chant my enemy's name. He is Vishnu. Don't chant uh, Vishnu's name. And he told Kayadhu to keep an eye on him so that he doesn't chant Vishnu's name, only his name. He still didn't listen Prahalad. He still kept on chanting uh, Vishnu's name only, Sri Vishnu's name only. And after some days, he was sent to Gurukul. But they also, uh, it was no help to Hiranyakashipu. Then he thought that, though he is my son, I have to punish him. Then he told his Asura to cut his head off. 
but when they were holding the sword not to cut the sword slipped out of their hand and went poking them only then he ordered them to throw him from the mountain they went in their war houses to the uh, war uh, horses to the to the top of the highest mountain and one uh, both of them uh, held uh, his arms both the side and they swung him two three times and threw him but he he felt like air was carrying him in his hands like a baby and going down and as his body touched the water he nicely swam and he he went back to the palace before the asuras can could reach only hiranyakashipu snored then he uh, ordered his men to take him to the forest tie him to the tree and drive all the wild elephants there but when the elephants came no they recognized that he was chanting vishnu's name so they uh, some of the elephants untied him put a garland on him and they uh, and they carried him on their back and the other elephants no they started chasing all the soldiers only they starting uh, they started running helter skelter falling rolling again getting up and running it was like totally super fun to see it happen and so then the elephants carried him and brought him next to the palace and uh, before they went they bowed to him and went back to their forest he ran ya kashi was very angry he was damn angry he was getting shocked that every time he was shocked that after even doing so much putting so much of effort on killing him why isn't he dying why is he still living and then he then he put him in the chamber of snakes they got the uh, six most deadliest uh, snakes and and they put him into the chamber of snakes the snakes after hearing the chanting of vishnu they also started dancing and then uh, hiranyakashipu told his men to set fire on the pyre and then outside the palace and then when prahalada went in it no it started raining till the uh, fire was put off then he made his own son drink the poison of king cobra with his own hands uh, uh, the prahalada drank it and he uh, thanked his father that thanks father this uh, poison was so refreshing hiranyakashipu was frustrated he started beating his chest then he dragged prahalada to the uh, to the middle of the hall and asked him what is the connection with you and vishnu prahalada said vishnu is the i accept that you are the god of all the three lokas but you can't protect us father vishnu only is the our protector Hiranyakashipu was very angry. He was off his limits. He roared again at him. That is he there in me, in you? Yes, father. He is there in me, in you, and also in all the living and non-living things also. Hiranyakashipu in that pillar, showing a big, huge marble pillar in the hall. Yes, father replied back. Prahalada. Then he took his big giant mace and he started beating the the pillar with all his might and strength. Ha ha ha! See for yourself, Prahalad. Before he finished his sentence, sentence, you know, he saw big, huge figure coming out of that pillar. What was that? It was half lion. the head was full lion and the body was full human it was narasimha prahalada recognized him as vishnu as narasimha who had come to save him again and they had a terrible fight and after some time vishnu narasim as narasimha carried hiranyakashipu like a baby with a fearful face and sat on the threshold hiranyakashipu's laughter just drained out like it was it just vanished he said no you you can't kill me 
Uh, Narasimha's laughter was even more louder than Hiranyakashipu's laughter. He said, look around you fool. I am not a deva, anything. I am both. I am a lion and a human. And second, you are not on the air, land or water. You are on my lap. Third, you are not inside or outside. I am on the threshold. Fourth, uh, it's not day or light. It's twilight. The sun is setting. Fifth, and I am not using any weapon. It's my long sharp nails and he showed it to Hiranyakashipu. And then after showing with a loud roar, he made a hole in Hiranyakashipu's stomach and tore it apart. And that was the end of Hiranyakashipu's life. Vishnu cleverly circumvented all the boons of Hiranyakashipu. He is always there for his devotees like Prahalad. Narasimha placed Prahalada as the king of Asuras on the throne. And so that was how Vishnu got the Narasimha avatar. Narasimha is celebrated uh, worshipped in across India. He is worshipped as Narasimha, Nrisimha uh, and Lakshmi Narasimha and also as Ugra Narasimha. Narasimha Jayanti is celebrated every year. Now I tell a shloka of Narasimha. Ugram Viram Mahavishnum Jwalantam Sarvatomukham Nrisimham Hishanam Bhadram Mrityan Jayanam Amyaham Vishnu also completed all his three tasks, no? Saved the good by saving Prahalad, killed the bad by killing Hiranyakashipu and established Dharma by placing Prahalad, who is the right king of Asuras and also giving the Devas uh, their palace back to them. Now, as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya chadushkritam dharma samsthapan arthaya sambhavami yuge yuge Vishnu will incarnate all the forms again and again in all the yugas and I will tell all the stories to you. I love telling this story. This was so amazing. Did you people like it? You guys show love towards me by sharing it with your friends. Like and subscribe. And press the bell button to get notified. I'll come back with Vamana Vitara. Bye.